Yo. So I wanted to do old school friendship bracelets, but instead of doing a normal, just single uh, strand, I decided to do a double strand and a triple strand. So my double strand is rainbow because it wound up being six. And then my triple strand, I did purple and black. So this, I, I decided I don't like who I became since living here, since I moved here. I, uh, I basically spent 10 years doing nothing but eating. So I, I want to be who I was before I ever came to this land here. <laughs> so I'm trying to remember who did I used to be? What did I used to do with my time and stuff? So something that I remembered that I really liked was bracelets. I always had tons of bracelets on my arm. So I decided let's do that. Let's do that. So that's what I'm doing this summer. It's just kind of like nostalgic, fun stuff. I don't know. Anyways, I just, I always loved the concept of having a hand braided bracelet, whether you made it or someone else made it. I didn't care. I liked having something around my wrist. I don't know why I like that so much. And specifically, I prefer the left wrist, but I did used to have a bunch on both just because I was like collecting a ton of them. I don't know. It became a habit. So anyways, for a double decker, you're going to need two rounds of three. So you're going to need six strands of whatever color you're choosing. So I'm using one strand of each color of the rainbow in order to get the double decker rainbow. So one of them is going to be red, orange, yellow, one braid. And then the second braid up next to it is the green, blue, purple. Does that make sense? So I'm showing how I would attach the bracelets if I do it in my bed. So the first one I did, I just did a regular single in my bed as something to do to pass time. So I would wrap it around the hoop like this. So you tie all of them together, all your six strands or whatever, three, however many you're doing. And then you make a little gap and then you tie another knot down. So you have a loop and you can loop it around something like a, an embroidery hoop. And then you can use it wherever you want. You can hook the hoop to your foot. You can put it in between your knees. It's portable that way. But if you have a table and you're doing it on a table, since I'm over here, I tape it down. So a piece of tape down where the string is in between your two knots, and then you can just start braiding. So I section off the three parts, colors that go together so that they're not in the way. And then I just do one braid at a time. It's just two simple braids up. And I check it at some point to make sure that it's like the right length and goes around my wrist. Um, so yeah, that was easy enough. Just a three strand quick braid up for both of those. And length user's choice so length didn't really matter I mean I tried a little and then I'll, so I made the string really 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 long because I like to do more than one at once I don't want to have to like cut the string out again so I mean it's not that it's hard I'm just <laughs> apparently lazy so anyways I lost my train of thought oh my god I completely lost my train of thought what was I even saying something about braiding it oh yeah because my string is really really long like that I uh, do a second one, an anklet at the same time, and then instead of having to restart your whole top, you just make a knot and go again. But you need to have a little, so like the original top knots, you have to have a gap in between your knots so that there's something to cut. And it needs to be long enough that you can actually tie it because you're going to need to be able to hold that end to tie it for both the, the bracelet and the anklet. Does that make sense? I feel like I got so lost trying to explain that. And now I just don't even know what I even said. Oh my goodness. Okay, so anyways, yeah, do two braids. <laughs> and then you don't need to knot them. Just lay it down with something on it, like tape or whatever, because you knot them both together at the same time. And then you just have one bracelet, two strands. Very easy. So then what I wanted to do for the three-strand one, what I'm calling a triple-decker, that reminds me of a double-decker cemetery that we have here. And every time I'm ever with anybody, they want to know why I call it a double-decker cemetery because it is two layers. There are bodies down here and there are bodies up here. It is the weirdest thing and I actually love it. So when you go down the cemetery, like at first it's just one layer, you know, but because there's hills here, then you go up to where it's two. It's, it's, it's a little creepy. I love it. So anyways, triple-decker bracelet comes after this. Well, now I'm here. I'm just braiding the anklet part of the double-decker, but I'll explain the triple-decker. Did I explain the cemetery well enough? It's like this stone wall and then the ground like sinks here a lot so you can see where the stones used to be or should be. It's just, it's really fun to explore the cemeteries here. I don't know why I like that so much, but it's something that my family enjoys doing quite a bit. There was one cemetery that we went to. It's like the oldest cemetery in the area and it's a really, really small one. And oh my God, I picked up a stone over there. It was a broken stone of a baby I was going to 
clean off. And as soon as I picked it up, there were maggots under it. I noped out of there. Oh, so people who do that. Wow. They must not be afraid of bugs. <laughs> I'm yeah. All right. So moving on now that I'm almost done with my anklet here. So the anklet, you just do the same thing. Tie the two knots together as your two strands. So then for my purple triple decker one, you could do three actual braids like this, which, you know, yeah, it's funnish. I decided to do instead one braid and then the other strands, the two other sets of three loose so that you have that like loose thread look with the braid look. Does that even make any sense to anyone but me? So I wanted it to be purple in the middle, you know, and then black on the outsides so that it's like black string bracelet, but you've got that pizzazz of purple in the middle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Does that even make sense? So anyways, the colors are just whatever, choose whatever you want. But I thought it was fun. So then back in the day, I don't know if my string was different or like maybe there was wax on it or something, but you used to just light the ends of something like this on fire and they would all together. And now you have like a solid piece, you know? It didn't work when I tried to do it with this, so I didn't bother to put it in here because you know that's not great. I'm just, I was playing with a lighter, basically. <gasps> it didn't work. It just, they were all just burnt ends. So I don't know what magic happened way back when I used to make these, but the ends used to like wax together or something, melt together. I don't know. I don't know. It didn't work on this. So super glue would have kept it together. Oh, my point for that, the reason I'm even saying that, did I? So I made the purple one, which you don't even see yet because I haven't gotten there yet. I make the purple one and then I was wearing it. And at some point during the day, I realized I was not wearing it anymore. So I think I pulled it off when I was taking my jacket off, which that's my total bad. I still have the anklet on that one stayed on fine. But the bracelet would have stayed on better if I just put a little dot of super glue where the ends meet, you know, like when you get waist beads and you super glue that piece. So friendship bracelet, super glue would have worked too. I didn't bother with these because usually I like them to fall off when they choose to. Immediate wasn't really when I expected it to fall off. I mean, I only had that thing on my arm for like maybe an hour, but I do still have that double decker one. And then, oh my goodness, my big giant foot. I don't mind my gigantic foot. I uh, was going to put it on my other ankle, but then I decided I don't like that. I want them all on my right ankle because I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to, I need to cover some of that <laughs> I'm realizing now that I'm watching this. Oh, okay. So at seven and a half minutes, fix that, fix that. Oh, I need to, I need to, whoo, <laughs> that's hysterical. So anyways, I need to wear pants when I do stuff like this. Seven and a half minutes. My bad. I also realized that I wasn't wearing a shirt in one of them and that was noticeable. So I thought it wouldn't be noticeable, but then I realized, no, it it's totally noticeable. Oh, well, whatever. Anyways, it is what it is. Little skin can't hurt anybody. <laughs> it probably can though, actually. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't want to see random skin off someone either. So anyways, I totally lost my train of thought because I just saw that. <laughs> the reason I'm wearing that is because when I exercise, I change my clothes throughout because I don't want to be in wet, sweaty clothes. That's gross. So every time I do a new type of thing, I change my clothes in between. So the first outfit that I exercise in is the almost to the knee shorts and then like a sports bra. And then I'll change that. And then I put on just the underwear shorts with another, a different sports bra to do the crunches and stuff. <laughs> and then I change that again for another kind of shorts. Anyways, big long story. So that's why I was wearing no shorts there because I had just either, I was about to do the crunches or it's one of those, one or the other. I, so yeah, anyways, I lost my train of thought there. My exercise routine is a little bit more loose than it was. I was doing it really, really strict. So it was like, I do everything as soon as I wake up, but now I break things up throughout the day a little bit because I need a little bit of time to do other things. And then I start to get stressed. Like, oh, there's these four things I didn't do yet, but I'm still doing this. And this is going to take me three hours. So yeah. So I only do the extra stuff in rounds of about an hour so that I can get other stuff done in between. I just licked that. That's gross. So anyways, I was doing five hours a day and then I realized, oh my goodness, that's too much. I'm taking too much of my time up doing that kind of stuff. But it's fun though, because last year when I got hurt, I was told basically, you know, your spine isn't fixable and there's basically nothing we can do for you other than, you know, pain med. So that didn't work even. And that was just a tragic mess. And they put me on the worst meds they could have put me on. Putting, putting, I don't know. I could speak sort of. Anyways. 
so I took myself off all of that and basically gave up on, you know, existing. But it all worked out for the best because I started doing ballet again, which was something I did in college and I liked. Um, and by did in college, I mean I took one singular class and it was a partial class. It was also jazz and some other kind of dance, hip hop maybe. We were all terrible. It was a fun class. <laughs> I took that with one of my sisters. The sister who's closest in age to me. So child number seven. I'm child number eight of eight. Anyways, that one is basically the only sibling who's close in age to me. Most of my siblings are a lot older than me. And I lost my train of thought because of that. Oh yeah, so I started doing ballet to fix my spine. And then I started doing other stuff too because like there was other stuff that I could do and then it was exciting. Like, hey, I went from being told you aren't fixable, you can't even walk more than 10 minutes to, hey, look, actually, I can actually do stuff myself. So I don't trust doctors anymore because they all basically told me that I was up S Creek, but that wasn't true. I grabbed a paddle. So if you're up S Creek with doctors, you can grab a paddle too. Somehow, some way, there is a paddle out there for you. So I wish everybody luck with any health journeys or issues that they may have. There's my giant foot again. <laughs> Bye.